Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts with Jenny. And currently I am uploading somewhere between three and four times a week these days. This video will probably be going up um, here shortly and we're, I've dedicated when I do upload it'll be on Thursdays and that is my paint by number day for Thursday. So if you're trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing um, please um, look at the dates that um, I use. Mondays are Dollar Tree. Um, Tuesdays is Tool Time Tuesday. So basically some type of tool is being used in, in the acrylic paint world. And Wednesday we basically throw that budget right out the window and we paint way we, the way we want to paint. Um, so not much of a budget there, but I do watch for good sales. So if I see them, I will let you know. But Thursdays is completely dedicated to paint by number. And you will notice that in the titles of my um, postings that paint by number will be in the title so that you know it's a paint by number and not something else. So welcome for that long. Hit that subscribe button. It's right about there. And um, ring the bell and follow me on Facebook and all that fun stuff so you get notifications of when my videos have been released. So I just finished one of the clock. If I say this name wrong, it's like San or San or Sandador. Oh. Um, these came from Amazon. Um, I know I'm usually an AliExpress girl, but these came from Amazon and it was a pack of four. And they're a little bit smaller. And I just finished this guy here, which I his video has already been posted. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And I was just so impressed with their paints quality. Now there was a couple of them that were dry. And I'm telling you guys now that if you add a drop of hand sanitizer into your paints and just a little bit of water, just a drop of water, close it up and wait a while. On the ones that are completely solidified, I would wait 24 hours. So put it aside, paint with another number and then come back to it. Stir it up and you should be good to go. I know. It's crazy. It, it almost turns them into really good paints again. So don't don't be afraid to use oh, lights are so bright. It's hard to see that says it is hand sanitizer. It is nothing fancy. It is just hand sanitizer. I think there's something in regards to usually there's like alcohol um, type and it's kind of a oily rubby Feel, I, I don't know. There's something in this that turns paint uh, back to its um, liquid. So you can paint. I know. You, you'd be surprised. And I am not the owner of this. I've seen this on Facebook. Um, so it is not it is not my creation nor is it my patent. My patent is to remove the numbers off of your painting when you're painting with something that is much lighter and that is I put them in I put this stuff in this little jar basically it's 50% alcohol and then when I say 50% that's alcohol is 50% if you look on the labels for alcohol it's like 50% 75% and 100% they may have less but I think it stops at 50% so it's half of the alcohol and half water and it just hangs around in here and then what I do is I put it in a little squeeze bottle it's almost empty like that and then I just squeeze out a little little bit as I go so I mean it's that stuff you can figure it on on your own and then I use um, the lip liner brushes um, and the reason that I like them and I've got a couple of them over here that I've used <laughs> look at them I know they're all frayed. They get frayed after a while. Uh, the lip liner brushes, um, they work a little bit better than your cotton ball or um, cotton swabs. Cotton swabs have tendency, you can use them, but they're kind of messy and they, they hold a lot of liquid because they're meant to. 
these don't really hold too much liquid and they're pointed at the end unless they've been frayed like this little guy is. Um, so you can get into those little spots and wipe them out and there you go. You're done. All right. Okay. Enough of that. So this one, like I said, it's not very big. And also I want you to know that this here, the alcohol um, rubbing thing, will take this off also. What I do is I... I have my, um, I put a little bit of the solution on one of these little guys, uh, a wet wipe, and I just kind of rub it just slightly and it all comes off. Because you can see that I, I, where I took it off of this one, I took the instructions um, off of the bottom. It had instructions and it had the name at the top, so I took those off. So yeah, that can be removed and these instructions down here that um, talk about diamond paintings, which is kind of funny because it, it's not a diamond painting, but oh well. Okay, so what you have here, and this is this is how I, I when I get my paint by numbers, and they come, sometimes they come looking like this, or they're kind of rolled up, or they are um, folded up. We've seen those before too. So what I do is I separate my paintings and I have a little bin that has all of these guys in it. So I put them in Ziploc bags and usually I don't use Ziploc bags that are this big. I love these Ikea bags. Um, so I put them in Ziploc bags and if they, whatever comes with them I usually keep in the in the bag. Sometimes I take the um, brushes out and here they are. I have a big bowl of them so if I need a brush I just go grab them. So usually in my bag is not brushes. I usually separate those out. Like I said I have a little bin for brushes and then I have a bin for these guys and these whatever comes with that painting goes in here and I use and the paintings have numbers on them. So you can see that it's not always do you get this. It should get, oh, let me turn this light off. Um, you get a little picture and the picture has the numbers on them too which is nice and so yeah so that will give you an idea of what it is that I'm painting this time I did a really big one very very similar to this and I can show some pictures of that um, if possibly um, but it was more turquoise colors and this one's more uh, pinkish colors so I thought they'd look cute together it looks like a little bird cage with flowers and stuff like that. So yeah, if you if you see this and you think, well, mine is turquoisey and hers is pink, there's a couple versions out there that run around in the paint, paint by number world. So just just be aware of that. Um, this one is like I said, the numbers correlate the numbers here, and they also sent me a guide, which is a good thing because this one's very detailed. So the guide has numbers on it. I'm just going to leave this light off. You guys don't care what I look like. Um, so the numbers correlate with what's on the canvas. So when you separate, you're fine. Um, if, if I think I've had one painting in the last three or four years that didn't have any numbers on it, and I just made up my own number, I mean like one and one, 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 that sort of thing, so I would know which which one goes where but it's not it's not necessary to do so I'm going to show you why I got the lights off a little bit of the detail in this thing look at that it may take me a little while to do but like I said I enjoyed this other one so much and usually by the time I get done with the paint my number I'm like I'm done just be done with the thing I've seen it for like two or three weeks I'm done I but that one, I just happily painted along, and oh, I'm seeing one that I missed. And that happens too. I know that sounds crazy. Um, if by chance you, you want to give your paint my numbers as gifts, this is just a good tip. Either have somebody else look at your artwork and see if you've missed anything, or wait about a week or so and look at it again, and bam, that number will pop off there like crazy. So you might want to keep your paints that you've used for that painting nearby for just a little while. <laughs> it's not necessary to keep them there with them all the time, but like I said, I looked down there and was like, oh, I forgot.
got one or missed one. So yeah, you might want to keep your note. Don't throw your paints away as soon as you're done. Wait a little while and then look it over or give it to somebody else and have them take a look at it to see if you've missed a number. It is possible. It happens. Okay. So especially when they're this detailed, if you've got huge like or it's 10 colors and you've got 10 places to paint, you're probably not going to miss a number. But when they're as detailed as this, it is possible to miss one and think, oh, I'm done and I'm not done. That's okay. Okay, so these come back vacuum packed and I was very impressed with the other ones and it looks and they have their numbers on them, which is nice too. So let me be fine. Um, so basically, I'm going to open. Oh, they got a little tear here. I'm looking for scissors and didn't need them. Okay. All right. So they're all together, which is nice. And there's no loose ones. Now, when I did the flowers, there was like five or six of them that were loose. Um, and then there was one duplicate, which just basically said you're going to use more of that number than. All the other numbers so it had a duplicate I don't see any duplicates in here and they're all uh, together in this so I'm not necessarily going to need this little guy because like I said there was what six numbers that were loose so I just grabbed one of these guys um, these are very popular I have noticed that in some of the newer ones I'm gonna turn the lights off it's okay <laughs> um, in some of the newer paint by numbers um, they're using like a clear plastic thing. They, they just go through, I'm sure that's like, I don't know, some engineer probably somewhere said, oh, it would be better if we put three rows instead of two rows. Then we only have to send one of these out. I know, go figure. Anyway, um, I'm gonna switch you down here and painting. Um, I probably will come back this afternoon and do some painting with you guys. I got some other things I wanted to do, but I was getting ready to start a new one, so I just wanted to come in and say hello and kind of get you down, get you started, and that we're, the, let you know that we are starting a new one today. So there you go. So it is um, Thursday when this uh, video will be posted, and yes, I'm dedicating Thursdays. To my postings to do to be for paint by number hopefully every Thursday so I've been painting like crazy to be able to meet those demands so but we will see almost every Thursday either paint by number completed showing how it's done or maybe just come out here and talk about some tips and that sort of thing or show you how the hand sanitizer works <laughs> it works believe me it does Okay, so I'm going to get off here and switch you down, and I've got some errands to do, and then I come back this afternoon or this evening. Um, I'll do some painting, and I'll turn all the cameras on so you can see up close this painting. It's I bought I it came with um, these. I probably will use more of my um, eyeliner brushes um, than anything. There are these little guys here. So I've got a whole stack of them, and I've ordered some new ones that I've seen out there. And as soon as I get them, I will be on this camera showing what um, what I found. So I will share that information with you, and we'll try it out and see how they fare. Right? Okay. So I'm going to get off here, and I'll see you down below on the paints, and we'll go from there. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Here's my picture. So cute. All right, sorry about the lighting. 
Mining's for the humans, I think. Not so much the... There you go. I'm trying to keep the shadows out. <laughs> okay. Let me get my reading glasses on. Alright. When do we want to start? So, on these, you can start anywhere. You can start in the corner. You can start in the middle and work your way out. It doesn't matter. Um, when I'm filming, I usually start in a particular area like this. Um, I've been known to start on the edges too. Let me see if the numbers are. Okay, numbers are. Look, right side up mm -hmm. to you guys. Um, so I'm thinking I'll just start in about here. Oh, let's start over. I'm trying to see where's the best place to go here. Right in here. Okay. Let's start over two. Alright, let's see. And like I said, I'm starting out with these guys because these cells are really, really little. Let's see. It always concerns me about opening my paint on just the canvas. I don't always make a mess, but been known to do that a few times. Okay, let's see if we can put that in there. Paint, feel good. And I said I was going to start with number two, and here I am in number one. Goodness gracious. Upside down, what do you think? I think so too. Okay. There we go. Alright, number three. Here we go. Nope, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, I'll paint a little while. 
without light. I think my eyes can adjust. Here we go. It's a nice paint. In fact, I was looking to see if uh, this company that made these had some more out there. And they do. I might order another four pack. They even had a. I think one that had six in it. They were pretty. And everybody's taste is different. I usually don't, I like to do flowers and stuff like that. Other people like to paint people. They don't paint too many people. Um, when I was a kid, I painted a lot of cats. Lots of cats. That's all they had. They had. When I was a kid, uh, paint by numbers were real paintings and they usually were of cats, dogs, horses were popular, or like a very detailed scenic view. I see those every once in a while still pop up. Um, that was about it. I still have some of my really old paintings too. And they look just as good today as they did 50 years ago. So. I used to, as a young adult, when I was in college, because I took one of these with me in college, and always uh, kind of embarrassed to say that I like to do this in my, in my spare time. And, uh, you'd be surprised how many of the girls would say, oh, I love doing those things. I mean, paper numbers are for kids, too. They don't get me wrong. Um, I think it helped me with my studies. Um, so it was like, oh, I'm going to get my homework done, then I can work on my painting. I always had a painting going, always. Always, always, always. Especially in the winter. I think some of my favorite memories is working on a painting, sitting and watching TV with Mom and Dad. Mm -hmm. Me working on a painting. I'm going to switch over to, I guess I'll go back to two. discovery of these paintbrushes. Oh my gosh. And they're not really paintbrushes. They're for makeup. Nope. Oh, I bumped you again. Sorry about that.
11. What's 11? It's a pretty red. Looks good. It's pretty. Let's see what is tins white. But I want that to dry before I try to wipe that tiny number out of there. Maybe I can try it. Maybe I can try it. Alright, tins white. here and then by the time I get over there it should be dry. That's a good thing about alcohol, it dries fast. I need some light. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Um. I was thinking nine could be removed.
as you see what I do is I dot the alcohol water on it and then <clears throat> Five is big. All the way over here. What is five? What color is it? Brown. This is four. It's a pretty brown. Five's a brown too. What's eighteen? Brown too. Which brown's right in here? Um, mean to do that. But I think once five goes it all I'm gonna clean that up. It's looking good. All right. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off for a little while, and I'll turn it back on. I may do some more with you guys on this one. Um. Yeah. It's looking good though. I'm pleased with the paint so far. I don't see any that might have a dry one. I haven't seen yet. 
So far it's looking good. Two looks good. Yeah, let's do two with you. My paintbrushes need. Let's see. Okay, so I got one of the paintbrushes here. Oh, that's nice. So curious, what do you guys do while you paint? Do you watch TV? Or listen to TV? Or do you listen to music? Or do you just sit and paint in quietness? I usually paint in quietness. Sometimes I'll turn the TV on. But I usually just I'm usually talking to the camera, but another reason for it to be quiet, huh? Hmm. Yes, paint's going down really nice. Okay. It's looking good. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to get off here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later.